Sam, here's the uh, circuit finally for the uh, starting and stopping of the conveyor motor in, uh, or starting and stopping of the last zone. And if you look here, the zone is this bar here. It goes about two and a half feet. And uh, anyway, it will start and stop. So here's the circuit. Uh, basically, uh, I'm supplying you with one of these, although you've probably already have uh, probably uh, half a dozen or so of them. Um, it's uh, a just a standard uh, regulator for the compressed air. You have compressed air going in quarter inch uh, M type fitting. And then uh, this needs to be at about 30 PSI, um, which is fine. I wouldn't go above 40 PSI. And then uh, that uh, regulates it and filters it a little bit, controls it through here, goes into a SMC uh, pneumatic valve. This is a plug because this is actually a pass-through connector. If you look at the uh, rails that I'm providing you, then if you wanted to, you could hook up dozens of these with uh, different zones. But uh, for us, we only need one zone. All you're trying to do is, you know, start and stop one box. And then this is those wonderful power supplies of which I burnt out three of these, which is crazy because it's like 150 bucks each. But uh, uh, new, they're $450, so that's more than enough to make a grown man cry. But uh, here it is, um, 24 volt going in here. You don't need this relay right now. I'm leaving it in there in the circuit. Um, it has an on and off, you know, that goes to the uh, two yellow wires, but uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, what does matter and what we do care about is 110 going in. Uh, I put on just a regular, um, you know, 110 plug. So if you run an outlet to it, that's great. And then uh, once you have 110 going in, there's no switch to turn it on or off because you don't really want people fiddling with it. And then uh, once it goes in, it goes to the 24 volt DC. 24 volt DC, you know, comes out to the banner sensor which is right here and this is a on off sensor um, where it actually has it down below you could move this back you know up in there if you want to i just kept it out just because i wanted it farther out uh truthfully um moving it back probably an extra three inches so it just barely escapes this would be better for boxes not falling off of it and then uh, it has to work in conjunction to a reflector. So this reflector needs to be directly in line um, with that sensor. So once this sensor, you know, you have a box or something that comes through here and gets in its way, then you're going to see this um, thing actuate. So you saw it there a little bit. So it's going up and it goes down. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll just put my hand in the way. So that will start and stop it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn on this real quick. And so you can see it. I would keep this totally closed and uh, we will wire that shut. And then you can actually mount that up underneath here or on the wall or somewhere. I've got a mount bracket all the way on there. So anyway, so here's what we're gonna do. Turn on our conveyor and there it goes. Shove three of these little things on here. So it should stop, and it does. So uh, you see all the others are going until it gets to here, and then it stops. So how about we just pull this off of here, and it should turn it on, and it did. Hey, and it stopped again. So we're going to do that again, and it should go again, and stop. So that's what we want. All the rest of the boxes, if the other boxes get thrown on here, they're just going to keep creeping up here. If it turns out that you have too many boxes putting too much pressure on this and two and a half feet zone isn't enough, um, you can actually wire in a T into these two things. And a T will look like this, only be a little bit smaller, you know, size for the right hose for this. But uh, anyway, that's it. So, wow, didn't realize it'd be that much work.